Uh, hey everybody, this is Ross. Um, in today's video, this is the day after the frost that we had in uh, the Philadelphia area. It's April 17th, and uh, we were expected last night to actually get down to about 33. And the forecast just seemed to just keep getting worse and worse and worse as the week went on, as the days went, as the day itself went on. Um, just really, really upsetting. Uh, you're gonna get my full reaction in this video of uh, of what everything looks like. I mean, from a glance, something happened out here. Uh, how much damage was there? I don't know. The this yard looks like a a bomb went off in terms of all the winter protection or the frost protection that I have here. I'm just gonna uncover everything now and go through what the damage is or at least what some of this stuff looks like. I imagine everything I've covered is all right. And uh, Obviously the reason for that is that the frost, instead of hitting the branches and the, the buds and the flowers, instead uh, hit the tarps. And you can see right here with the figs, they're uh, completely unaffected. At least you'll get to see it here in a second. But uh, there is no there is no damage here that I'm seeing on the figs, which is, you know, that's good, obviously. Um, Any thing that didn't get damaged is a big win. And, uh, you know, at first glance, I think a lot of this stuff didn't take damage, for being honest here. But I do see some things, and if maybe if I didn't protect as much as I did, I do see some things that did take some damage. The pomegranates here were covered as well. Uh, they're leafing out, or they have leafed out. And the tarp was on top. And uh, you know, with just a little bit of wind, this tarp would blow off. It's the best I could do. Uh, but there was very little wind last night. So, I have a feeling that this tarp blew off and I came out here at midnight last night to make sure that the tarps were in place because it was very windy last yesterday during the day uh, and because it was so windy I just um, I couldn't put these tarps on until very very late last night I guess I'll give you guys a close-up here and now, what did happen, I guess, is that the tarps damaged the buds. You can see the, there's some broken buds here. Uh, but these leaves on the figs, as an example, you know, this one's fully leafed out. There's no damage here except for some sun and wind damage that this tree has already taken. Uh, I put that tree through a lot. Um, my cherries here, we put a, actually put a bag a trash bag on top of this to cover as much of the fruit on this this sweet cherry here this is my white gold cherry and uh, I basically just took myself uh, some tree tube here and then wrapped this around the trash bag and that was it um, this should off, offer enough protection, especially because it was only supposed to be a pretty mild frost. It wasn't supposed to be a big deal here, but it turned into a big deal. Um, getting down to, like I said, 29, maybe even lower. 33, I think, is reasonable. But, you know, if it's going to stay at 33... And before that, it was forecasted at 36, even 37. Um, if it's going to stay at that, then I feel much better about this. Uh, the low tunnels are set up pretty much all over the yard. 
and uh, I can't imagine there's any damage in here underneath these these load tunnels. Um, again, they're offering some sort of protection. I'm gonna go through that once uh, I get through some of this stuff over here. I think is probably the the bigger deal. Um, the peaches. Let's look at this real quick. I'm still seeing a lot of fruits. The fruits, uh, yeah, the flowers are dead because the flowers have set the fruit. And uh, the fruits are here. The fruits exist. So even these blankets here didn't, weren't even necessary, uh, I guess. This is all fine. Um, Now, I also did cover some of these figs that I planted in the ground. Uh, we just, you know, put in some rooted cuttings in the ground. And then I covered them with uh, a pot with rocks on top. It's A-OK. -okay. No damage. That's, that's great. So this method worked. Although, again, how much frost was there actually? I don't know. So far, nothing is damaged except for that kiwi vine that we didn't get to yet. <clears throat> I've covered the Salavatsky pomegranate in the corner here, which has been also leafing out. You know, some of this stuff, you got to protect the, the buds that are leafing out because uh, things like the pomegranates and the figs, or not the pomegranates, the persimmons, you know, that's where the fruit is um, on that new growth. So if you damage the new growth, you lose, you know, it's just you lose all that fruit. This persimmon's all right. That's good to see. This, uh, this pot here must have blew off because I had it over top of this Josta berry, which does have some fruit on it or has the flowers on it. Which are, all right, that's good to see. The uh, gooseberry has got its flowers still. The gumi, I had basically wrapped it, covered it with the, the uh, trash bag and put a pot on it. And that seems to be all right. But look at this, look at this kiwi vine. Just very crispy here with these leaves and this frost. It doesn't appear to have taken really any significant damage along these buds or only along these branches but uh it's definitely a setback and let's look at the apples real quick this is really i think one of the last things i covered these with the tarp and they look totally fine they're in full bloom right now and basically if it's in full bloom the flowers are fully open they're fully exposed to frost same thing with the blueberries I have some blueberries in the front that are not open. The, the, the flowers are expanding, but they're not fully open. And then I have other blueberries in the front that are fully open. And they look all right. And believe it or not, look how many blueberries are on these damn things. Unharmed. Good to see. Maybe this one's not. This one looks. No, this one's all right. Incredible clusters of blueberries that uh, I could potentially have this year. Should have this year. This is, I think, the end of it now at this point. There is a chance of a frost, I think, Saturday morning. But you know what? I think that one's a lot less mi or more mild than this. And we'll probably be all right. Oh my God, that, that hawk has a giant wingspan. Holy crap. Yeah, everything over here looks fine as well. Here's actually some apricots. Oh no, it looks like they got hit. Looks like these may have gotten hit. At least they appear to be hit. They seem, yeah, they seem very weird. Huh. The temperatures were too cold for those. The pears are okay. Even the ones I didn't protect. 
So I'm thinking we're actually all right. Here's the, uh, oh no, this is not good. The persimmon buds are not good at all. There's some down here, this one looks crisp, whereas these definitely look like they got hit with a frost. And now that makes me wonder about my Rosianca. Ah, that'll be a big loss if this tree has bad damage on it. Because again, if those buds get hit, then uh, you lose all that fruit. They form on the, uh, the, new, the new wood here. Yeah, some of them look, some of them look damaged and some of them don't. I think overall the tree is okay. Wow, we're okay. <laughs> and then of course the peach here, these, all these peaches and nectarines, they look fine. I'm shocked, man. I am absolutely shocked. Uh, yeah, you can't, I can't tell you guys how happy I am right now. It's been a very stressful time the last couple days and uh, I kind of really understand the depression and the stress that farmers go through when they have this sort of thing happens, you know. So uh, well, thank you guys here for watching this one. I uh, hope you guys out, out there are staying safe. Hope you guys got through this frost and uh, see you guys later, all right? Take care.